Good morning. I have a story for you today. It's a story from the Bible. So yes, this is Chapel Day. The story is called Moses and the King. It's from the Beginner's Bible, but the people that drew the pictures are Kelly Pulley and Paul Trice. So they, did, they made some very pretty pictures in this book. Moses and the King. God's people were slaves. A mean king ruled the slaves. He made them work very hard, didn't he? Moses was scared of the mean king, so Moses ran away. God wanted Moses to help the slaves. Moses didn't know how. One day, God spoke to Moses from a burning bush. Moses, go back and save my people. Take them to a new land. Moses was afraid. The king will not listen to me, said Moses. I will help you talk to the king, God said. Moses went to see the king. What do you think is going to happen? Let God's people go, Moses said to the king. Do you think he did? The king said, no, the slaves cannot go. I do not know your God. My God is powerful. You will see what my God can do, said Moses. God changed the river water. Nobody could drink it. The king said, no, the slaves cannot go. God sent frogs. God sent bugs. God sent sickness. Still the king said, no, no, and no. God made the sky dark. Still the king said, no, the slaves cannot go. Let God's people go now. If you don't, God will take all firstborn sons, said Moses. No, the slaves cannot go, said the mean king. God took the firstborn sons. The king now said, go now. So Moses led the people out of the city. They went to the Red Sea. The king and his army chased Moses and God's people. We're trapped by the sea. What do we do now? The people asked. God sent a big cloud the king and his army couldn't see. God said to Moses, reach your hand over the sea. God parted the water. Moses and the people ran to the other side. The king and his army were close behind. God made the water crash down on the king's army. Moses and the slaves were free. That's the end of that part of the story. What do we know about this? We know that Moses believed in God. And we know that God asked Moses to go help save his people. But Moses was afraid. He didn't want to do it because he was scared. He was afraid of the mean king. But God told him, I will help you. So Moses said, okay. 
and he went and he did what God told him to do and his people were free. There's a Bible verse that says, I will take you to be my own people. I will be your God. You will know that I am the Lord your God when I throw off the load the Egyptians have put on your shoulders. That's found in the book of Exodus chapter 6 verse 7. So this story can help us remember that there are some really hard things that we have to do that God asks us to do. And sometimes we don't want to do those things because we're afraid afraid, maybe not afraid of a mean king, but just afraid of doing something that we don't understand. So remember, God is with you and God can help you through any circumstance. Dear God, I thank you so much that you are part of our lives. I thank you that you can help us no matter what it is that you ask us to do. We love you, Lord. We thanks for your present we thank you for your presence in our lives. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye. See you later.